Yeah, Erica, this is Allison Medeiros. He told police he was riding his bike home from work last month when someone on an e-scooter came by and hit him. You can see he's still recovering from the injuries that you see here. The problem is he doesn't know who was riding that scooter or who owns it. Medeiros' attorney says Medeiros can't talk to CBS2 because it's hard for him to talk at all after a recent surgery on his jaw. Police say he was unresponsive for minutes. After the crash, he started to wonder whether the real-time data from the 10 scooter companies in the city could help identify the rider. His lawyer filed a court petition today for the companies to give up location data and all data and information that may identify the individuals operating scooters in Chicago during the time of the crash. Medeiros' attorney says they tried asking the companies but didn't get the information, so they filed a petition to try to keep them from getting rid of any evidence. Medeiros is now trying to pay off thousands of dollars in medical bills. He told police the scooter was weaving in and out of traffic and hit him while he was riding a bike down the street. And his lawyer says once the rider is identified, they could push, push for uh, criminal charges against that rider or they could sue the rider or the scooter company. All 10 companies or their lawyers will have to appear before a judge to answer to the petition. No word on when. And that petition also requests information from the city. Live in Wicker Park, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.